Dear students, today I am going to teach you one question related to mark price and hat. The question is like this. If a shopkeeper allows a discount of 20% in an article, he loses rupees 600. But if he allows a discount of 5%, he gains rupees 1575. Find the selling price of the article with 10% discount and 13% VAT. This is the question. So now we will start like this. Here we have given discount in first case. So if discount is given, discount is always calculated on mark price. So we need to consider here a uh, solution. Let mark price MP be X. And we have given discount. Discount equals to 20%. So this is in the first case. So selling price now. Now. SP equals to MP minus discount percent of MP. So this is MPX minus discount is 20, 20 by 100 times X. So 25 is 100. So if you take LCM, 5X minus X by 5. This is 4X by 5. So 4X by 5 is selling price. We got selling price. Mark price is X. Selling price is 4X by 5. Now we know that again, again we know that loss means we have given loss equal to 600. So loss is equals to CP minus SP. So loss we can put value 600 equals to CP as it is minus SP. SP just now we have got here 4x by 5. 5. Therefore, we can write here CP equals to, if you transfer this 4x by 5 this side, it will be 4x by 5 plus 600. This is cost price. Listen, we got cost price from the first case. Now again, again, but if he allows a discount of 5%, now in the second case it is different. So second case now, second case, in second case, what is given here, discount is different now. So let us write down here discount equals to discount equals to only five percent given. If discount is only by five percent given, then what will be selling price? Selling price SP equal to again MP minus discount percent of MP. So this is MP is X. MP already we have suppose X, same it will be throughout the problem. Mac price is same. Only selling price will change as the distance as the discount changes, selling price will change. So AMP is X minus discount is 5%, 5 percent by 100 times X. So if you take LCM, uh, you can reduce also 5, 2 is 10, 0, 20 minus 20 X minus X divided by 20. This is equals to 19 X by 20 is the selling price for the second case when discount changes sell by C. it was 4x by 5 previously when discount was 20 percent now when discount is changed to 5 percent it became 19x by 20. so now uh, we have given that in second case what will happen it will be gain here it is given to us see when if but if he allows a discount of 5 percent he gains rupees 1575 so 1575 is the gain so now we can apply formula here gain equals to gain means profit gain equals to selling price minus cost price this is SCP, SCP minus CP this formula to find gain gain is 1575 selling price this one now now this is the case second case selling price is this one minus cost price already we have got here 4x plus this one so there is minus so that minus is very dangerous sign so we need to put one cover like this if there is minus so 4x by 5 plus 600 okay now or or 1575 equals to 19x by 20 minus 4x by 5 minus 600 so this number number we can transfer together so it will be 1575 five plus 600 equals to, we can take LCM over here. So 20 will be LCM of 5 and 20. 20 ones are 20, 1 we multiply, so 19x as it is, minus this 5 fours are 20 and 4 times 4 is 16x. 
so 600 already transpose this side see or this we can add 505 707 6 and 5 11 carry 1 1 1 2 2 1 7 5 times this 20 will multiply this side equals to this one see 19 minus 16 is 3 3x so if you divide by 3 now here 3 will reduce also we can just cut also 3 look at it 3 7 is 21 yes then 3 2 is 6 then 7 1 15 3 5 is 15 this much so therefore x equals to 0 5 2 is 10 carry 1 2 to the 4 1 5 7 to the 14 14,500 this is x x means therefore x is marked price mp equal to for rupees rupees 14,500 is our marked price so after getting marked price now our question is this one see after getting marked price find the selling price of the article with 10% discount and 30% back so with discount means now we have to find selling price and then CSP with that so now again finally now we'll find out esp equals to again let us write down already two times we have applied the same formula now third time selling price equals to mp minus discount percent of mp now instead of x we'll put this one see 1400 5 minus discount percent is how many percent 10 percent given 10 by 100 times 14,500 so this 0 0 cancel so this is 14500 minus 14500 only this is equals to rupees we got this one this will be uh, 0 0 0 and then 10 minus 5 is 5 so here is 4 4 minus 4 again 0 and then 14 4 minus 1 3 and then 1 13,050 is the selling price after discount now we need to find SP with VAT now now SP with VAT with VAT is equals to SP plus VAT percent of SP so what is our VAT VAT is given here 13% uh, VAT so let us apply 13% VAT here this is equals to 13,050 plus VAT percent 13 percent of 13,050 so this 0 0 cancel this will multiply now 1 3 0 5 0 plus now we need to multiply this one see 13 5 is 65 carry 6 13 1 is 13, uh, 13 carry 6 0 13 0 is 0 plus 6 is 6 only so now 13 3 is 39 9 carry 3 so 13 1 is 13 plus 3 is 16 and then if you divide by this 10 if you divide by 10 here will be decimal c this will be here and 0 we can put this much so this is equals to rupees so 0 0.50 will be as it is 0 0.50 will be as it is now 6 plus 0 will be 6 then 9 plus 5 will be 14 carry 1 Six one seven seven plus zero is seven itself, and then three plus one is four, and then one. So the rupee is fourteen thousand seven hundred forty six rupees fifty paisa. This is SP with bad. Hence, hence SP with VAT is equals to rupees fourteen thousand seven hundred forty six rupees fifty paisa like this we can solve thank you for watching this video